Oh, well, it's been a while since I've done a review, but this is a review of this very nice, very stylish hip flask. A few little problems with it though, but we'll get into the good as well, don't worry. What makes this hip flask, hip flask really good is that it has been spill proof. Now I've gone camping many times this year and this thing has been with me throughout and it hasn't spilt one drop. It has not spilt one drop. It's got a very nice thread on it. Um, weird things, it's got a, yeah, I mean, it's got a nice rubber gasket sort of thing to keep everything going. It's got a very nice thread and it does not leak at all. And I ride motorbikes. This has been bouncing around in a pannier or at the bottom of a roll bag or something and it's solid and it hasn't leaked which is what you want there are some downsides to this thing first of all it doesn't stand up very well it's incredibly unstable i guess you could say but you're camping the ground isn't flat anyway really if you're going to be camping so i was to lean it up against something um but yeah you're always putting the thing back on there it pours well and everything there is some downsides though when you're filling it up it comes with this little little um filler container the only downside is when you're using it you kind of have to like lift it up just a little bit because it, it performs I don't know like the water just sits on top you just have to like let it so that the air can get in down the sides so then it can actually fill up um, and I've been traveling if you're everyone's wondering uh, Glen Morangi 10 year old um, uh, Glen, Morangi, uh, Glen Morangi 10 year old I've been uh, keeping in this um, and it it's kept it very well um, I haven't no I haven't uh, and now I've, I've finished camping now for the year so it is empty now and I will uh, rinse it out and then leave it to air out and stuff like that but I've used this all year so it's about six months of use and I've done five or six camping trips with this one uh, and it's such a nice little thing to have nice little hip flask um, just enough uh, not too big not too small just enough to for two people to share a very nice evening sipping whiskey. It says it's the best flask on the go. I'm not sure if that's completely true or not, but for the price, it's pretty good. Uh, if you're thinking about buying one, I'll put a link below in the description and you can check it out. But this is one of the little camping gizmos I've used this year. Oh, and of course, um, I wasn't drinking from, I never, I never drank directly from this. Um, I poured it into Russian mule mugs. Uh, the good thing about these Russian mule mugs that I use is uh, I usually give this one to someone else. Well, I've got a few of these, uh, but I keep the gold one for me because I'm special. I like the gold one for myself. Um, but the best thing about this is these ones, um, I got these on a clearance, so I can't actually link them or anything like that. I don't know. Where they are, but this one's got things on it. So when I when it's dark, I can pick that up. And go, okay, that's not mine. Oh, that's smooth. That's mine. That that's, eh, you know, that's how I know. Go by texture. Um, but yeah, I usually pour whiskey in there, and then just a couple little drops of water, just to make it, you know, improve. Uh, give it a larger surface area for the whiskey. Anyway, um, that's how I've been enjoying my camping trips. Mostly half cut. <laughs>